Freedom servers are down. Why? They were down for a few hours yesterday and some of you may have noticed this error message when they were down. It was only for a few hours because one of our service providers stopped working. It was the GeoIP locator which converts IP addresses to countries. And as you can tell, the servers are back up and running and our great development team had fixed the problem as soon as we detected it. It was like 2 a.m. our time, yet they got up and fixed the issues. And I want to ask you, how many of you run a website that is a top 20,000 website in the world? Because that is what freedom.tm is. According to Alexa, they rank us in the top 20,000 of all websites globally and it is updated daily. What is your Alexa ranking if you run a website? Just go to alexa.com and find out. On to today's comments where we feature you, give you a spotlight, a deserving channel, and many of your amazing comments. Let's start with Frosted Fricks, who I challenged yesterday to send us some videos about OBS because Ashley Silverdust said he made some great series. So Frosted Fricks wrote this comment. Hello, George. I'm happy that you wanted to see a tutorial of mine. And of course, I saw your comment. So I took your video, which is right here, and put it right on to Freedom Central. So if you go to youtube.com slash freedom and scroll down, you will see a new playlist called Open Broadcaster Software Tips. This is where I put Frosted Frick's video because it was so good and it is recent. It is recently made. We have some videos in the past that are like two years old from Epos, Vox and others. But if you've made great recent videos about OBS, send us links down there in the comments below and I will add the good ones to this playlist for everyone to see on Freedom Central. How good is the video? Well, let's play a few clips. Roll it! Hello Freedom Family, I'm Frosted Fricks, or you guys can call me Jesse, your guide to any software or hardware related questions that you may have in regards to creating that perfect YouTube video. Now then, if my name sounds familiar, it is because I've probably helped you with a recording related question in the comments section and any of George's, Anthony's, or Obit's recent videos. As a community team member, I have decided to step in and start helping Freedom answer some of the questions that you guys have in regards to how- Thank you, Frosted Fricks, for stepping up and answering questions from the community. That's what it means to be part of the community team, guys. Even if you're not an official member, just help out in the comments below. That makes you a member of the community team because we all help each other grow together. That is the spirit of freedom. I do that normally at the end, but I thought I would do it in the middle this time. Let's move on to the next comment. Erminator. He said, I want to be in the community team, but I really don't have time to answer all the comments and I want to be in the community life. Community team, Lyle, doing free banner challenge. Okay. Thank you, Emanator, for offering your services to create banners and your desire to join the community team. Uh, Dissectra replied that we don't accept any more members. That's for the official core team, which meets on Skype every day because if that team grows too large, it becomes impossible to manage. But everyone can be a member of the community team by actively responding and creating meaningful conversation in the comments down there below. So please do that, Emanator. Next comment, Dissectra. He can really relate to Haribo. Being a community team member as well and commenting a lot, he noticed five channels that he helped are now commenting on his channel. His subscribers are growing as well, but he was really surprised that they actually watched his videos and left meaningful comments. That will happen to you if you actively comment. Down there, you will find new friends, new fans. You will grow your audience because people want to check out who is leaving these great comments. Now, let's check out Dissectra's channel. Dissectra is a very long-time loyal member of the Freedom Family. And he 
is someone I've already subscribed to. Let me hide myself to show you. But let's say I was not subscribed to Dissectra. How does his channel look to new people who haven't yet subscribed? Oh, still says unsubscribed. Come on, YouTube. I unsubscribed. Yes, I really did unsubscribe. Try again. Refresh. <sighs> Okay, apparently YouTube does not want me to unsubscribe from Dissectra's channel. We'll try one more time. Okay, now it recorded that if I'm subscribed. That is position music. I believe that is Ultra Num, a uh, piece of music in the Position Music catalog. Don't know what Position Music is? Just head on over to positionmusic.com. Everyone in the Freedom family can get access to that music for free. You lose no revenue by using it. It's exclusive to Freedom, which means no one in any other network can get Position Music. So if you're part of the Freedom family, head on over to positionmusic.com and click that shiny Freedom sign-in button, which I will show you right now. Right here, click that little button. Let's zoom in so you can see very clearly. Yes, it says Freedom. And when you click it, you can sign in with your Freedom account. And after you've signed in, you can access all the amazing music on Position Music for free, for use in all your videos and live streams. That was a mouthful. But Dissectra, back to your channel. Let's stop digressing. Uh, awesome intro video. That got me pumped and excited. And clearly you are a Battlefield 4 channel. You're focused on all the different aspects of the game. Tank versus air combat, kill streaks, and a lot of different loadouts. Apparently you're also a fan of uh, Age of Empires. So... I like you already! I'm a big fan of Civilization, which is a similar kind of game to Age of Empires. Let's take a look at your thumbnails, shall we? Your thumbnails, let me hide myself, are great. I can clearly see what each video is about just by looking at the thumbnail. I don't need to read the description down here. I can simply look at the big, easy to read text on your thumbnails. <clears throat> well done! So my only suggestion to you, Dissectra, uh, would be that on your intro video, you do say a little bit about your channel. Add some commentary. Maybe not right at the beginning, because that's an awesome intro with awesome music. But maybe later on in the video, talk about who you are, why someone should subscribe to your channel. And I think that might give you a few more subscribers. But as I said before, I'm already a fan. I've already subscribed. You've got me as a plus one. Congrats. On to the next comment. The Jam Fam HD said, I joined Freedom yesterday, loving how people, how everyone is so close together. Thanks for this opportunity. Hope everyone in the Freedom family is doing great. Well, thank you for that beautiful intro. Uh, we already got Machi a minute ago, just recently, congratulating the Jam Fam, and myself 29 seconds ago at the time I started recording this video. Welcome to the Freedom Family. And some of you have been wondering, is that really me commenting? Yes, it is. This is the actual George. I am the real George. Not someone hired to reply as George. I always use this account personally. Whenever you see George Venus, you know that's me. I only have 3,000 subscribers. Come on, I don't have more. Founder of Freedom. Only 3,000 subscribers. So sad. <clears throat> but my point is, that is me. Next comment. Static Gamer said, Hey George, how accurate are the estimated earnings? He means the estimated earnings in YouTube analytics. They are actually extremely accurate, like 95% accurate. What you see in YouTube analytics is basically what you will earn when the finalized earnings come in minus a few percentage points. And it doesn't 
have to do with dollars per thousand views as someone suggested. It's simply your raw earnings. That's what YouTube generates on your videos and you can tell uh, just by going to YouTube Analytics how much money you're making every day. It's only a three-day delay, so it's basically real-time. Next comment. Dissectra said, here's a tip. If you don't want to watch George for 11 minutes and 46 seconds, just click the speed up icon to watch the videos at 1.25. The video becomes shorter because it's running faster and you can still understand everything George says. So I hope I've spoken a little bit more quickly in this video, Dissectra, so you don't have to speed me up and make me sound like a chipmunk. How do I sound at 1.25? Uh, I'm a little scared to find out. Uh, let me try it just for fun. Okay, here we go. Is the motto of the community team who helped. So that's normal speed. And let me speed myself up as Dissectra suggested for those of you who don't want to watch at normal speed. No comment left behind is the motto of the community team who helped Actually, answer all of your questions and start me. That sounds exactly like me. It's not a chipmunk. How is that possible? Let's try it again. Normal. Meaningful conversations down there in the comments. Not to be con Okay, one more time. Confused with no child left behind, which is something George Bush in the US was known for. Wow. Let me see how much faster I can go without sounding like a chipmunk. Actually, the motto, no comment left behind, was from the army, where it says no man left behind. That was the inspiration for every comment should get a response. That's actually pretty good too. All right, Dissectra, you win. I have no comment except great comment, and I recommend this tip for anyone who wants to get through these episodes faster. That really surprised me. All right, guys. Freedom is growing. Every day we add hundreds of new people to the family. Yes, hundreds a day, every day, seven days a week. It's amazing to see how many of you are so excited to join us and help each other grow together. The best way to see who is new in freedom is go to community.tm, our freedom forums, and there is an introduce yourself section. And if you click it, you will see all the people who have recently introduced themselves have spent the time to create an account on the forums and talk about who they are. Let's have a look at one particular person. Hello, I am Kark. And Kark said, I'm a 16 year old gamer. By the way, I have no idea who this is. I didn't pre-rehearse this. This is really just a random whoever happened to be here I was going to click. I am Kark, a 16-year-old gamer from Finland. I record Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Minecraft videos at least once a week. And as you can see, he's gotten a lot of replies already welcoming Kark to the Freedom Family. Wow, that's a fancy uh, signature. <laughs> and one thing you'll notice, in the Freedom Forums, you get your channel embedded here. So if someone likes your Freedom Forum post, you can get a new subscriber. You can subscribe right there. Let me show you on the channel. And you can check out the channel to see if it's something, it's something you want to. I'm with a Regal and we're just going to be playing some chaos. Mod want to be part of. Again, completely random. I have not rehearsed this. I don't know who Zer HV is. I just wanted to point out that that's one way you can grow faster on the Freedom Forums at community.tm by every post you make. If it's a good post, people will read it and potentially subscribe to your channel. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? I think it's awesome. Who am I? I am George, CEO and founder of this beautiful family called, once again, standing up, Freedom. And have you noticed that I've now used the whole height of this window. In the past, my window would have been smaller 
And some of you gave me feedback the that it's a little doing? distracting. Let, growing. Oop. Let me quiet myself. Quiet, George. Stop talking. When I'm talking, it's impolite. In the previous videos, this is how I looked. There was a gap between my head top and the top of the display, but now I've extended it. So this whole like one quarter of the window is uh, not distracting you with something a little bit above me. Do you think that's an improvement on the quality of The George Show? I know many of you have commented that the quality of The George Show has gone down since a year ago when I was making videos with a green screen and doing a lot more editing. And it's true and not true. I can't spend as much time editing videos anymore because of how big freedom has gotten and how busy I am. So I had to either stop making The George Show, which I actually did stop for four months. If you remember, there was a hiatus and I restarted it in December, at the end of December 2015, because I, I missed you guys. I missed making videos and I saw just how much uh, how important The George Show is in communicating tips and updates to the Freedom family. And I promise I will not stop The George Show again <laughs> because I don't want that to happen again where I disappear. But I had to make a sacrifice and that is the editing time. So I've chosen this format because I can pump out these episodes in a lot less time and I hope they're still helpful and engaging and make you feel like freedom is a wonderful family, the best network to be part of and you should tell your friends if you think so. I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom and you've been watching and we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.